In this video, we'll be looking at how to deal with sig significant figures in multiplication and division operations. Um, again, the basic principle is that the uncertainty in your answer is determined by the largest source of uncertainty in the things you put in. So we're going to be looking at to find the things with the least precision or the least um, number of significant figures, which correspondingly have the largest relative uncertainty, and relative uncertainty is what matters in multiplication and division. So the rule is simple. The number of significant figures in our answer will match the number of significant figures in the number with the fewest significant figures. So I have three quick problems. Students generally do pretty well with this subject. If I plug this number into my calculator, I come out with a value of 7.194724 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Remember, the grams are going to cancel. I'm left with units of moles, and you really need to keep an eye out to make sure you report the correct units. The next question is how many um, <coughs> sig figs I should report. If I look here, I have three. Here I have five. And here, be careful, this is exact. This is a <coughs> grams per mole or a formula weight. And this is a single number, and this 150.11 is in relation to exactly one mole. So when you're dealing with a density, a concentration, a molar mass, one of the parts of this ratio will have sig figs, and the other will be exact. So in this case, that's exact. Three is the fewest number of significant figures, and so I should round to one, two, to that position, or 7.19 times 10 to the minus three moles. Okay, so keeping an eye out for one of these being exact in dimensional analysis problems is one of the challenges you can come across. Let's just go to the second one. And if I plug my um, numbers in this one, I come out to have 56.1544 dollars. Now I say that the gallons cancel. The per gallon is like having gallons on the bottom, and that dollar sign is, are my units in my answer. Now, this number had four sig figs. This one had three sig figs. That's a lower number, so my answer should have three significant figures. One, two, three. And if I round this, the next digit's a five, so that should go up. 56.2 dollars. Okay. In this one, if I plug it in my calculator, I get 0 0.015671 liters. The milliliters cancel. I'm left with units of liters. Here I have five significant figures. This one's exact. And this is exact also. This is a unit definition for how milliliters relate to liters, and this is an exact value. So I should keep five significant figures, and there I have five significant figures in my answer, and, and that's the answer to the, the problem. So in multiplication division, you're looking for the largest source of relative uncertainty, and that's reflected in the number going into the calculation with the fewest significant figures. And your answer should have the same number as the number in the calculation with the fewest significant figures. Watch out for exact values which show up primarily as unit definitions, but can also show up as half of the, the ratio of a, a unit like molar mass, concentration, things of that nature.